Good day and welcome to the Mad Salon. I'm Dr. Anamendem. For those of you who are new to the Mad Salon channel of YouTube, this is a channel where we help students prepare for their class examinations as well as their national examinations. Also, international exams, you can find some really helpful tips here. We try to make sure that the questions we use as examples are standard examination questions, so that's not just for demonstration, but also this could be a question that you'll find in an atypical examination. The most important thing is that in order to stay tuned and be updated whenever we load new videos, you have to subscribe. So I advise you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and if possible you click a small bell that indicates an alert that when a video comes up, it tells you to check. It's very important that you check regularly to see that, yeah, we try to put questions spreading out some requests from students as well as what we think are useful or the most important technical areas. The tips are really very important, even for those who are not students but are interested in mathematics. In the salon, we try to make mathematics as beautiful as we can. So, today we are going to look at periodic compound functions. These are in general periodic functions, but I will restrict the demonstration today to compound functions. First, in order to get into details, we talk about periodic. Periodic actually means something that occurs after some amount of time. It could be the female ovulation system, it could be football tournaments like the World Cup, it could be Christmas, it could be New Year. All these activities reoccur after some amount of time that we call the period. But in order to define something that is sensible and nice for everyone, we will try to put it in a mathematical way, in a simple and beautiful way. So we would say, if I have a function f that has a period p, it means the function value at x would be the same value at x plus p. So if you know the period for Christmas, then you will be able to know when the next Christmas will be, and even the one two years after. So this is also the same like f of x plus 2 times p, even 3 years after, 4 years after, so this will still be the same like f of x plus 3p. It means in general, you can be able to look for the date when the next Christmas will occur any number of years from today. So we'll just make it general, kp, number of years that you would do for the case of Christmas, where my k is an element of the integers. They could be positive or could be negative. So it means I can also write this as f of x is equal to f of x minus p is equal to f of x minus 2p and is equal to f of x minus kp. That's a simple definition of a periodic function. Periodic function is a function that has a value and that value repeats itself after a certain amount of the period. It could be one year, two year, three years and so forth depend on the period for that particular function. In this particular example, they said the period is four. Let's look at it. So what you have in mind is, if you can keep this, then that's the most important thing you need. So if the function f is periodic with period four, then I can express it this way. Then f of x plus kp would be the same like f of x. It will occur again. The function value will be the same. So let's say now we are asked to look for, so given that f is a periodic function of period 4 and that the function is given as a compound or piecewise function, so f of x is x squared when x lies between 0 and 2, 2 exclusive, and it will be x plus 2 if x is between 2 and 4. So this is a function that has different descriptions for different intervals. And that is the reason why knowing how to manipulate the period is important. We also look for f of 9. What is special here? Normally we know f of a function is just putting the value of x inside the x in the function the way it's defined. The problem is that 9 does not exist here. That's why we have to try to use this idea. So we try to express 9 as a number and plus something, some amount of the period. So for example, f of 9 could be written as f of 4 here, 4 plus 5, but 5 is still more than the period. So I will multiply 4 by 2 and 1. Then this is 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Then we get the same 9 here. So that means if I look here, I can move from this side to this side. If I have a function f of x plus k multiplied by the period, then it's the same like f of this number here. So see what I have here. f of 1 
plus 2 times the period. So then it should be f of the first number there. Simply f of 1. Ah, this one is nice now. This the, the customer is happy. f of 9 is now f of 1. And 1 exists. And 1 is defined by this part of the function. So I'll just put 1 here because when the, when the value is 1, f of x is x squared. So f of 1 is simply 1 to the power squared. And that is 1. That was simple. We look at the second one. A periodic function of period 4 is defined as follows. f of x is equal to 1 minus x squared. If x is greater than or equal to 0, less than 2. 2x minus 5. If x is greater than or equal to 2, less than 4. We ask now to look for f of 11. The typical idea is you always see that it asks you to look for a value that is not defined the way you are given in the particular compound function. So you have to use the idea of a periodic function to get a number that falls in that area. That means f of 11, we can write it as f of, I see how many times the period can go. The period is 4 here. So 11 divided by 4 is 2 times 8 and then the rest is 3. So I can write this as 3 plus 3, sorry, 2 times 2 times 4. Then my 4 here is the period. So I'll be able to express it in this form. So if I can express it in this form, then f of this is just like f of the first one there. That means f of this is just like f of 3. And 3 isn't specified here. See, it's in this, in this region. So this is the function definition when the value is between 2 and 4. So that's simply 2 times 3 minus 5. And that's 6 minus 5. And that is 1. It's just a coincidence here. Both of, the, <laughs> both of these examples have value 1. That does not mean every question you see on this, the answer is 1. Please... Thanks for having watched, share with your friends, discuss, give us some thumbs up so we know which video people prefer or if some techniques are welcome or you need more, you can also leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye.